Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back into the video day. Today, we're we'll doing my NFL Week 11 Power Rankings. Let's get into it. It's going to be another fun week of football in NFL Week 11, um, middle of November, going into Thanksgiving. Let's go over my power rankings before NFL Week 11 starts tomorrow with a amazing matchup between the Washington Commanders and the Philadelphia Eagles. At number 32, I'm going with the 2-7 and seven Raiders. Raiders catching some heat even though it was a bye week. I mean... Last week, I had the Raiders at 31, so this is not a lot of movement. Um, I I had the Saints at 32 last week. They won. So because of that, um, the the Raiders are last place uh, in my books now. 31, I have the Giants are 2-8. and eight. Previously lost to the Panthers, 2017. Previously number 29. Giants are looking pretty ugly. Um, bottom two or three team in the NFL. At 30, you got the Jaguars, 2-8. and eight, Preseason number 27, lost to the Vikings, 12-7. to seven. Look, I know there's no Trevor Lawrence, Mac Jones in at quarterback, but still, I feel like it was disappointing for the Jaguars not to be able to get a win against the Vikings team when you have Sam Darnold playing one of his worst football games of the season, throwing three picks. So, so many opportunities for the Jaguars to win this football game. They could not do it. 29 have the Dallas Cowboys, 3 and 6. Preseason number 23 lost the Eagles 34 to 6. This is ugly. Not only that, losing Dak for the season, I think, makes everything worse, which is another reason why the Cowboys going uh, down this much. Um, yeah, the Cowboys season is getting uglier and uglier by the week. 28, I have the Tennessee Titans, preseason number 25, lost the Chargers lost the Chargers 27 to 17. I know they're playing a really good Chargers team, but quarterback position still looks really ugly for the Titans. 27, I have the New Orleans Saints, 3 and 7, preseason number 32. Look, I'm going to give the I'm going to give the Saints some credit. Uh, you finally snapped a seven-game losing streak, and not only that, but you got to win against a good team in the Falcons. 2017, Derek Carr didn't made some solid throws. Marquez Valdez Gantling was really good, uh, but not going to move the Saints up any higher than 27. Uh, good win for the Saints, though. At 26, I have the Cleveland Browns. Um, yeah, 26 for the Browns. Um, yeah, I mean it was a it was a it was a off week for the Browns at uh, you know in, in week ten, but yeah uh, with some with it with some teams winning I am gonna I'm I'm not gonna you know I'm, I'm not gonna you know put too much uh, you know I'm not gonna put too much hate on the Browns but you know I'm I'm gonna move them down a couple spots with with having some teams in the in in you know in the win column this week um at 25 it's one of those teams i'm talking about in the win column the carolina panthers at three and seven two game winning streak for the panthers previously number 28 uh beat the giants 20 to 17 great win for the panthers look i know the panthers uh look they're still a bad football team but these last couple of games trouble hubbard's been on fire really all season but really good games from trouble hubbard with Bryce Young playing better football, they're able to win some football games. I know it's against bad teams, but I still look at the Panthers right now. They're a bad football team, but I think they're better than a good part of the bottom teams. I think there are only a couple bottom football teams that are better than them. Um, but as of lately, with how strong their run game's been, um, they can they can go up against most of the bad teams in the league and get a W. Just it's the it's the good teams that they have the trouble with. All right, at um, at twenty four, I have the New York Jets three and seven preseason number twenty two lost to the Cardinals thirty one to six. I want to move the Jets down higher, you know, higher up, um, but they lost a great team, and you have so many other NFL teams uh, that I've already mentioned that are playing such bad football. So I got the Jets at twenty four. Another team playing horrendous football that I, I'd like for them to be higher up. Um, on the in the list, but uh, or lower lower in the list, but they're not. Um, and that is the Indianapolis Colts. I mean, they should be they should be lower than twenty three, but they're not. Four and six, preseed number twenty one, lost to the Bills thirty to twenty. Now they're switching back to Anthony Richardson at quarterback. They turned the ball over way too much, averaging like four turnovers per game in the last three games. It's been horrendous. Another team that's 
been horrendous recently that honestly should not uh, be this high. The Chicago Bears at 22, 4 and 5, preseason number 18, lost to the Patriots 19 to 3. Their offense is horrendous. The only, one, of, one of the only reasons why it's hard for me to not put them in the 25s or higher area is just because of the fact their defense is playing good football right now. It's just the offense, and their, their record isn't terrible at 4 and 5. It's just been these last couple games they've been, or these last, you know, two, three games they've been playing bad football game, playing bad football. Um, so at 21, I have the New England Patriots, 3-7. and seven. Uh, This isn't just about the Patriots' good win um, against the Bears, 19-3. to three. Producing number th- I had them last week at 30, but it's also about all these other teams playing terrible football. You got the Bears, who they just beat the crap out of. You have the Colts, who are uh, playing terrible. You have the Jets, who they've beat this season and are also playing terrible. It's the Panthers, it's the Browns, it's the Saints, it's the Titans. The Cowboys, the Jags, the, the, the Giants, the Raiders. There's just so many terrible football teams right now. Um, and look, I think the Patriots got an edge since they they've beat the Bears, uh, they've beat the Jets. So um, yeah, I mean, I got the Patriots at 21. It's crazy to have them move up eight or nine spots, but um, it was a good win, three seven. All right, another team I have moving up quite a bit is the Miami Dolphins, three and six. Previous to number twenty six, beat the Rams twenty three to fifteen. Yeah, solid win for the Dolphins. The Dolphins look like a lot better of a team with Tua Tagovailoa back, averaging twenty six, almost twenty six points per game with Tua back in these last three games. Almost beat two really good football game, two two really good football teams in its first two games back. Only lost by one to the Cardinals on the road and only lost by three to the Bills on the road. What happens? Well, actually, I think I think the I think the doll I think the Cardinals game was in Miami. That's my bad. But what happens on the road against LA? Put up 23 points um, against them. So they they look like a way better football team with Tua Tagovailoa back. And so I'm, I'm gonna have them at 20. At 19, I have another Florida team. It's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at 4-6, and six, previous number 20. Look, this is another game with, you know, the Bucs are still without their wide receivers and uh, competing with a good football team. Last week it was the Chiefs who they barely lost the Chiefs without their wide receivers. Then it's this week the, a fully 49ers or, or basically a 49ers healthy team outside of Brandon Ayuk being out for the year. Uh you know, having having them as a matchup, what happens there? They only lose by three. So the Bucks playing pretty decent football right now without their two top wide receivers or top three. So um, I'm not going to hurt the Bucks at all. I'm actually moving them up a spot. At 18, moving up a spot as well. I have the Seattle Seahawks. They're four and five. Previously, number 19 was the bye week. At 17, going down one spot, I have the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, Previously, number 16. Lost the Ravens thirty five to thirty four. Uh, yeah, I mean it was a it was a tough loss for the Bengals, but uh, I'm not going to move the Bengals down too much since they were very close with a very great Ravens team on Thursday Night Football in Baltimore without their number two wide receiver. At sixteen, I have the Los Angeles Rams four and five. Priest number fourteen. Um, they lost the Dolphins twenty three to. 15. I mean, look, the the Rams have, have been red hot recently. This is their first loss in, what, three, four games. Um, and the Dolphins are a way better football team when they're healthy with Tua. So, yeah. At 15, I got the Broncos. Priest number 17 lost the Chiefs 16 14. This is a rare uh, for me to move up a team a spot or two after losing. But look, the Broncos came. Uh, seconds away from beating the Kansas City Chiefs. It's the closest the team has come to beating the Kansas City Chiefs this year. And I thought the Broncos did a great job competing against the Chiefs, not to mention the Broncos also uh, still have a great record at 5-5. Five and five. And with so many teams playing bad football, it's kind of hard to move the Broncos down. At 14, I have the Atlanta Falcons. They're 6-4, and four, piece number 10. Lost to the Saints 2017. It was an ugly loss, but the Falcons still have a good record, moving them down four spots. At 13, I have the Texans, 6-4, and four, previously 11. As a Texans fan, our performance Sunday night was horrendous, but 
the Texans competed with a uh, very good Lions team. Their defense picked up five interceptions, um, not to mention they only lost by three to a, I think, the best team in football in Detroit, uh, also a team that they dominated in the first half. Um, so I am going to move them down because I thought the play calling was horrendous on the Texans end um, by Bobby Slowick, and I don't think there were a lot of mistakes defensively by the Texans because they, they they the defense tried to keep them in the football game. I think it was just offensively some of the play calling there, um, but I think when you lose to a Detroit team in a close game, you shouldn't take a huge hit. But I have the Texans moving down a couple spots if. If the play calling was right by the Texans in this game, I'd probably have them at the same spot I had them at last week, mainly moving them down because of the play calling uh, by Bobby Sloak in the Texans. All right, uh, 12 out of the 49ers, 5-4, and four, piece of number 15, beat the Bucks 23-20. to 20. 49ers are kind of complete now. Christian McCaffrey back. He looked great on the receiving end. Not much of the rushing end, but McCaffrey still looked great for the 49ers. And... Now, I mean, outside of IU being out for the year, they're healthy. Kittle, you got Kittle, you have Debo, you have Jennings, you have Ricky Pearsall, who looked really good in their in their win against the Bucks. You have McCaffrey back. You have Jordan Mason as a backup. You have Brock Purdy, who just threw for 350 yards against this Bucks defense. And so th- this 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 team looks pretty sharp now that they have CMC back. Eleven, I have the Chargers six and three. Priest number thirteen beat the Titans twenty seven to seventeen. And at ten, I have the Arizona Cardinals six and four. Priest number twelve beat the Jets thirty one to six. Look, I'm I'm looking at the Chargers and Cardinals. Here's one thing I look at. Um, sure, the Chargers do have a better record, but the two teams both played bad teams this weekend. The Cardinals beat the crap out of the Jets, who were a real bad team, but beat them by 25. Meanwhile, the Chargers uh, only won by 10. And also, the Cardinals did beat the Chargers. I know the Chargers do have a better record, but the Cardinals did beat the Chargers. And nine, I have the Packers staying at the same spot. They had the bye week. Uh, eight, I had the Vikings staying at the same spot. It was a win, and uh, the Vikings are, what, now 8-2, eight and, eight and 7-2, and two, something like that. But Sam Darnold struggled, and they were barely able to beat the Jags without... Uh, Trevor Lawrence. At seven, I have the Commanders. Seven and three. Priest number four. Lost to the Steelers 28 to 27. You know, great performance by the Commanders. Couldn't get the win against a good team. Um, but Jay Daniels looked impressive. We'll see what happens with them tomorrow against the Eagles. Six, I got the Ravens. Or seven and three. Priest number six. I'm not going to move the Ravens up at all. I'm going to keep them at the same spot since they struggled against the Bengals team at home on Thursday night football. Um, without their number two wide receiver in T. Higgins. So keeping them at the same spot at number five, I got the Eagles, who are seven and two. Priest number seven beat the Cowboys 34 to six with a dominant performance from the Eagles. Um, look, I, I know that the Cowboys are terrible, um, but it was a great offensive performance for this Eagles team. Jalen Hurts looked fantastic on the offensive event. A.J. Brown looked great. And this Cowboys defense did get a little bit better last week, getting Michael Parsons back. Uh, so getting Michael Parsons back, that helped Cowboys team, the Cowboys team. He had two sacks and a forced fumble. So uh, the Cowboys are a completely different defense with Micah compared to without Michael Parsons. And Jalen Hurts shredded that defense and played fantastic. So a uh, great win for the Eagles. We'll see what they do tomorrow night against the Commanders. At four, I have the Steelers 7-2. Previous number five beat the Commanders 20-27. to Great win for the Steelers. But another team who got a great win, but will have another tough matchup uh, against the Ravens this week. At three, I have the Bills, eight and two. Previously, number three beat the Colts, thirty to twenty. Great win for the Bills. A bunch of turnovers that their defense got in this game. Um, Josh Allen looked good as well. Uh, we'll see as they will have a true challenge against the Kansas City Chiefs. Speaking of the Kansas City Chiefs, at number two, I had the Kansas City Chiefs. A lot of people will put the Chiefs number one because they're undefeated. I don't care about that undefeated. I don't, I don't care about the undefeated record. They're 9 no. They're a great football team. But we keep watching them have trouble against bad football teams or, or mid-football teams. Like, the Broncos are a solid football team. They're, they're, they're right there at 500. Um, at five and five, and 
Bo Nix at times has look, has, at times has looked really good. Their defense has looked really good. But for what no, there is no reason why this Kansas City Chiefs team with the weapons, Patrick Mahomes, a three-time Super Bowl champion and a great quarterback, with Travis Kelsey and DeAndre Hopkins and Kareem Hunt, uh, and and that defense should be only winning by two points in a game against the Denver Broncos at home, in a game. You know, in a game where you're at home going up against a rookie quarterback, you sh- at home against the Broncos, they should not be winning by only two points. You want to go back to the week before that? It was the Buccaneers. They got took to overtime against a Buccaneers team that didn't have their top three wide receivers. A, a team that has been terribly defensively this year against passing quarterbacks. Um and Mahomes had a good game, but they sh- they should have blown out the Buccaneers. They should have blown out the Broncos. You want to go to the week before that against the Raiders? The Raiders, 27-20. to You only beat the Raiders by 7. The team I have is the worst team in football. Um, you only won by 7. They're getting too many close wins. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go ahead and say like the refs are bailing them out. There have been some bad calls by the refs this year in favor of the Chiefs, but it's not all the refs. The Chiefs are a good football team, but they win too many close games. And when I look at a team who 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 does something, I feel like the Chiefs should be doing more often. And that's the Detroit Lions. Look, the Chiefs. They've only had one double, you know, double digit score win this year, which is outrageous to me against the saints 26 to 13 was their only double digit win this season and i feel like they should have more than that um with the defense they have the quarterback the tight end and some of the other weapons around their team uh the head coach and andy Reid and the amazing defensive coordinator they should they should have way more than one double did one way more than one double digit win this season um at nine and oh but the one team that I look who can just blow out anybody, in my opinion, is the Detroit Lions. Eight and one. I mean, they beat the Titans by thirty-eight. They beat the Cowboys by thirty-eight. They have blown teams out this year. It, I mean, look, they just they just had their quarterback who's had an absolute amazing season throw five interceptions in a game and still win the football game. We don't see Patrick Mahomes do stuff like that. I just have the feeling if Patrick Mahomes threw five interceptions in a game, you would not see the Chiefs come back and win the football game. You I just wouldn't see it happen. Detroit, to me, is the best team in football. Um, the Chiefs can prove me otherwise if they can get a great win against the Bills this week, uh, just dominate the Bills. But as of right now, the way Detroit's playing, I have them as number one at 8-1. and one. To me, the record, the record doesn't matter. The, the two teams' records aren't very far off between the Chiefs and the Lions. Both of them are very close, uh, and the Lions have way easier of a time beating teams um, than, than the Chiefs do. And I, I, think, I think the Lions have, have beat some better teams than the Chiefs have. I mean, like the Chiefs have beat the Ravens and the Bengals. That's really it. Meanwhile, I mean, the the Lions have, uh, you know, they they beat the Vikings, they've beat the Packers, they've beat the Texans, they've beat so many other good teams around the league. So let me know your thoughts on my power rankings in the comment section and peace out.